good morning children in the earlier class we have discussed about the gdp gross domestic product and the growth rate of gdp and how the three sectors primary secondary and tertiary contributed to the gdp we have discussed and we observed that most of the developed countries like usa britain germany prawns etc had the agriculture as the important sector in the initial stages in the production and in the employment but gradually they changed to the they shifted to the secondary sector and then to the service sector first they got more production from the agriculture sector and they gave the opportunities to the employment in the agriculture sector and as well as the production is increased as per the new methods of agriculture introduced as well as the production also increased then selling buying activities are improved by selling and buying activities increased as well as the trade also increased and the demand for the goods is increased much more than before and the government also appointed administrators but overall in this initial stage we observed that the main sector is the agriculture sector the agriculture sector contributed more amount to the gdp in that developed countries in the initial stages then we go to the second we know the industrial revolution is the invention of new machines and new methods of manufacturing automatically the production of goods were increased enormously in the short period it leads to the more production and also the people who are working before on the farms they were shifted to the industrial sector they got employment in industrial sector automatically the production and the employment contribution from the agriculture was declined here the industrial sector became the important sector in this stage as the technology improved in the first two sectors the working people were shifted to the service sector so when we observe the last 50 years the service sector became as a dominant sector this is the pattern of change in the importance of sectors in developed countries but the same pattern is seen in india or not is following the similar pattern or not look at the pie charts here the contribution of various activities to gdp has been presented for two financial years 1973 and 74 and 2015 and 2016 the pie graphs represents the gdp in the given year but the services in turn are seen to comprise of three types here we can see the table one category is community social and personal services the second one is finance insurance and real estate the third one trade hotels transport and communication in the community and social and personal services public administration defense education health and media library and other things are covered 
in finance and insurance and real estate services of banks post office saving accounts non bank financial companies life insurance and general insurance corporations are covered let us see share of different sectors in gross domestic product during this 43 years period here the output share of agriculture sector has fallen drastically just we can see it is decreased by 24% it means 43% to 90% it is decreased when we see the industrial sector it is increased from 22% to 28% it mean it is increased by 6% when we see the share of service activities there is a tremendous change in the service activities employment the working life in india there is a close relationship between the working people and gdp according to the census of india 2011 out of 121 crores persons in india 46 crores people are workers there is a table it showing the workers details in india for the 2012 and 2013 years we can see here majority of the workers are engaged in agriculture sector it is 49% the second one is the 27% it is in service sector and also majority of workers in agriculture are living in rural areas most women workers are employed in agriculture sector and more than 90% of the urban workers are engaged in industry and service sector when we compare to males female workers are getting employment in agriculture and industrial sector the agriculture sector is continued as the major and important sector even though more than half of the working people working in the agriculture sector they produced and they contributed only one fourth of gdp the remaining half of the working people in the secondary and service sector they contributed to the gdp 3 by 4 so finally it means the working people in the agriculture sector are not producing more than the secondary and third sectors we observed that more people are working in agriculture sector than the requirement of course more people are working in that sector but they are not employed fully it means if some people come outside of the production the production will not be affected there is no change in the production if they come outside also so this type of unemployment is called disguised unemployment let us take the poor farmer gayatri there are five members in their family and they have the two hectares of land all of the family members are working on the same field but here no one is idle all of them are working but they are not fully employed the work the labor effort is divided everyone is working here the production is the same so output is the same even though all of them are working on the same field or even two members are working on the same field also they will get the same production this is the under employment it means they are still working but they are working 
less than their potential is underemployment so it is clear that more than the required candidates are employed or engaged in the gayatri field the extra persons if the extra persons will shift to the other activities their family will earn more income without disturbing the initial production like the gayatri family there are so many agriculture families are in india under the disguised unemployment the underemployment in service sector also it is in the service sector also for example the casual workers in urban area they cannot find the work every day and sometimes the street vendors plumbers painters electricians they cannot get the work every day of course they have potential to work but they are unable to get the work as per their potential of course the service sector has been increasing even though the all the sub sectors in the service sector are not increasing equally for example at one end the skilled persons and educated persons are engaged in service sectors to the other end the large amount of the workers and unskilled workers are engaged in other service sectors like the shopkeepers street vendors painters and other works so finally we come to one conclusion that in service sector also there is no equal progress only one part of the service sectors has been growing thank you share to students and subscribe for next